What is the meaning of Jacob wrestling with God? We're going to answer that question. You can also discover more on gotquestions.org. It helps to know that deep-seated family hostilities characterized Jacob's life. He was a determined man. Some considered him ruthless. He was a con artist, a liar, and a manipulator. In fact, the name Jacob not only means deceiver, but more literally, it means grabber. To know Jacob's story is to know his life was one of never-ending struggles. Though God promised Jacob that through him would come not only a great nation, but a whole company of nations, he was a man full of fears and anxieties. At a pivotal point in his life, Jacob fled his father-in-law's treatment only to encounter his embittered brother Esau, who had vowed to kill him. Anxious for his very life, Jacob concocted a bribe, sent gifts along with his wives and children, in hopes of pacifying his brother. Now physically exhausted, alone in the desert, facing sure death, and divested of all his worldly possessions, Jacob collapsed into a deep sleep on the banks of the Jabbok River. With his father-in-law behind him and Esau before him, he was too spent to struggle any longer. But only then did his real struggle begin. That night, an angelic stranger visited Jacob. They wrestled throughout the night until daybreak, at which point the stranger crippled Jacob with a blow to his hip that disabled him with a limp for the rest of his life. It was then that Jacob realized I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. In the process, Jacob received a new name, Israel, meaning he struggles with God. Most importantly, we read that God blessed him there. In Western culture, and even in our churches, we celebrate wealth, power, strength, confidence, prestige, and victory, and despise fear, weakness, failure, and doubt. Though we know that a measure of the latter come with normal lives, we tend to view these as signs of failure or a lack of faith even. However, naive optimism and the glowing accolades of glamour are a recipe for discontentment and despair. Sooner or later, the cold hard realism of life catches up with most of us. The story of Jacob pulls us back to reality. Frederick Beeker characterizes Jacob's divine encounter at the Jabbok River as the magnificent defeat of the human soul at the hands of God. It's in Jacob's story we can easily recognize our own elements of struggle. Even the Apostle Paul experienced similar discouragements and fears. We were harassed at every turn, conflicts on the outside, fears within. But in truth, God does not want to leave us with our trials, our fears, our battles in life. In our conflicts, God proffers us corresponding divine gifts. Through him, we receive the power of conversion, the gift of surrender, freedom, endurance, and courage. In the end, Jacob does what we all must do. He confronts his failures, weakness, and sins, and faces God. Jacob wrestled with God all night and it left him crippled. It was only after he came to grips with God that he received God's blessing. Our lives are never meant to be easy. Christians are never devoid of God's presence, and his blessing inevitably follows the struggle, mess, and chaos. Real growth experiences always involve struggle and pain. Jacob's wrestling with God at the Jabbok that dark night reminds us of this truth. Though we may fight God and his will for us, in truth, God is so very good. As believers in Christ, we may struggle with him through the loneliness of the night, but by daybreak, his blessing will come. That answers the question, what is the meaning of Jacob wrestling with God? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find a deeper discussion and recommended resources. If this helped you, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions.